Hello YouTube. It's been a while since I uploaded um, some of my general electronics projects here and yesterday I had quite a fancy idea regarding a very simple electronic circuit and yeah I thought maybe some of you would be interested in, in this particular project so I decided to upload it here on this on this platform yeah um, and maybe maybe you like it um, if, if you build a very simple circuit like this you use an inductance and a capacitor only these two components and what what happens if, if you insert some energy into the circuit like applying a external voltage to the capacitor or inserting um, a some some energy here into the circuitry using a magnetic field into the inductance then what what happens is basically if you look at the time voltage diagram uh, you get you get something like this it starts oscillating something like that and the the oscillation frequency here is is called resonance frequency t and the frequency is 1 over t is 1 over uh 2 pi 2 times pi multiplied by the root square root of L times C so 2 and pi yeah and I uh, thought to myself would it be possible or is it possible to, to build such a circuit only these two components and to to insert energy into this circuitry let's say controlled by a um, microcontroller so that you yeah so so that you can insert some energy and keep the oscillation going because if you insert the energy at the at a, at a um, wrong moment the you will block the oscillation. The, the oscillation will not go perfectly. So you need to, to insert the, the energy at a very um, perfect point, let's say. Um, otherwise you will not be able to get the maximum resonance um, f effects here. Like, you know, when you have resonance frequency or, or in, in resonance, the um, the resistance of this circuitry will be infinite. Let's say this is Z, the complex value, and let's assume this is an ideal capacitor and this is an ideal inductance. And in resonance, the, the value of this um, capacitive uh, resistance um, will be exactly like the um, resistance of the inductance. That's basically where this formula um, comes from. So, and I thought to myself, is it possible to insert energy externally to this circuitry and keep the oscillation going and going? I know on the internet there are some um, circuits like the ZVS um, circuitry that I showed in a previous project. This is basically a, a circuitry that does exactly this, but um, uh, as far as I know, um, there, there's not much documentation on the internet regarding um, a microcontroller based circuitry that will keep a resonance going and going. So, what, what I did here is I build up this, this test circuitry and 
as you can see, you you have the the capacitor here, only this this capacitor, and the inductance. So basically, we're talking only about these two components, and then to to insert energy into the this basic fundamental circuitry, I used a some some wires. I put some wires around this this core to to insert the the magnetic field into this core material and therefore to be able to to insert energy into this resonance tank here. So this this two um, wires will be connected to a n-channel MOSFET here. Uh, which is controlled by a standard uh, MOSFET driver IC, so nothing special here. And in order to monitor the oscillation of these two components, I connected um, an operational amplifier between these two um, pins here, between basically like this. I've connected it like like that. So that's it. Of course, using some resistors here in order to um, be very uh, high high impedance here, not very low resistance, um, just to to convert this oscillation into a. Um, a signal that can be very easily um, measured by an oscilloscope or by a microcontroller. So this is this is what what happens here, and the the output of the the op amp is connected to this LED. So um, if the LED is is off, then I know um, the the voltage is be between zero here and if the LED is on I know we are here and what happens in oscillation mode the LED will be switched on and off uh, with uh, res resonance frequency so um, this is kind of a, a just a simple optical indicator that um, yeah shows me the, the functionality and yeah and I'm just curious if you are interested in such projects. I will um, connect this device to the to the oscilloscope and trigger some some energy uh, using this this MOSFET and um, yeah push some energy into the resonance tank and will monitor the the whole thing. And yeah, my my target is to be able to. Uh, trigger the the uh, energy push, let's say the the energy movement into the device at the very right moment, so that ca I can um, force uh, a a resonance here. So the the, the resonance frequency will be um, given by the by these two components here, of of course. But I need to insert the energy at the very right moment, otherwise I won't be able to to have a optimum resonance frequency here. So that's that's my target and if you're interested to, to follow this project uh, just give me a, a some comments uh, in, to this video and, and I will keep you updated. If you are not interested please also uh, um, send me some comments and please also send me why you are not interested. Thanks a lot and see you soon.